Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is a haul of Sephora. And as most of you or some of you know, there's a sale going on that started way back, I think the 1st or the 4th of April, and is going all the way to this Monday, April 11th, which by the way, is my 50th birthday. Yay! <laughs> I'm a little nervous and a little like nonchalant, like not a big deal, and then a little nervous, and then, you know, it's nothing, one more day, and then a little nervous. <laughs> it's kind of like that. You know, my husband obviously is older than me. Well, not obviously, but he's older than me. And he said, it's not a big deal. And then I have another friend who is going to turn 77 uh, the, the 12th of April, but she's a very good friend, very dear friend. And she says, oh, when you turn 50s, when all the revelations come, you know, you know who you are and what you're supposed to do in this life. I mean, that those are big words. What do you guys think? For those of you that already turned 50, what do you guys think? Is that true? <laughs> Once you turn 50, like Cinderella, cling, you know who you are and what you want in life. <laughs> well, you know, I like to put a little magic to it. So we are doing a haul in Sephora, but I also have a little surprise because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So I will tell you a little bit more about that and you know, a little more in, so I don't chat, chat, chat and not show you some products. So, you know, I'm still hanging out to that chatty thing, which by the way, um, I'm getting the box of Sephora. Da, 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 da. Um, not that pretty, but you know. Um, Thank you so much, so much for all of you that uh, comment about the chattiness, about what you like about the channel, about the technology and the lighting. I really, 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 really appreciate all of your comments. Uh, they answer my questions and they confirm me and they, they help me continue doing this. So thank you so much for taking the time and doing that. And as of the comment of chattiness, I actually appreciate it. And I think it was more sort of in a joke um, matter. That's how I took it. Because at the end, um, the person put G and, I, and I, can, I can relate to that. You know, when, when you're looking for a swatch or a color and you're like, come on, come on, come on, show it to me, show it to me. So, um, uh, but it all helps. I want a good balance and, uh, and I want to do good for you guys. And for that, I put the lighting different. Tell me what you think. It's not like I change a lot, but I'll tell you, little minute changes makes a big difference. So this is a little new. The only thing new, <laughs> so you know it's not a big deal, is I'm putting the light back. And I might even put it more back and more back. Let's see if all of that helps with the light not being on my face because it's at the lowest, 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 lowest. And I took the two boxes lights out. And so this is the most minimum. So hopefully we'll get that flare that keeps showing up um, out of the way. And also I will be getting a new camera and I think that would help. All right, so enough about that. Hall of Sephora. Uh, so I ordered like three orders. Of course, you order the first one and then you're like, oh, and this and this and this. And then they added some products. They added the Patrick Ta and they added Charlotte Tilbury, the new Pillow Talk Dreams. So, and they added the, oh yeah, the Tom Ford, the dual blush that I did a, a video on it. So those items are worthwhile and they're worthwhile for the 20% or 15% or 10%, however, uh, um, gear you're in. So just FYI. So I did three. I think I'm still missing one. Maybe I did four and I'm still missing two. I'm still missing some products, but for the most part, what I order. So, and I put them all together. So I don't know which one I order in the first and second. In any case, I order many Patrick Ta. Never tried this before. These are blushes. Um, I order the She's so LA and she's a doll. So I'll show them to you right here. She's so LA and she's so doll. With she's so doll, I'm wearing right now the powder and I will try the 
cream with you guys. Uh, so far the powder I love, I love the two colors. Now I'm interested on the other ones, we'll see. I did order, order the Patrick Ta new. This is uh, his second palette. The first one I didn't order because it was very brown. And when I use very, very brown in my blue eyes and with the my skin color, makes me look more tired or too much. I like brighten colors or more peachy, rosy, things like that. And uh, so this one did call my attention. It's called my Major Dimension 2. And uh, look how pretty. It's more on the rose sort of thing. And I will be doing a video just on Patrick Ta. So I will be trying this one. But this two are cream. And so this look very nice. And so I order it. We'll see how they perform. Uh, because I ordered this, she's a doll. And now that I apply a little pink in my cheeks, I haven't applied the cream. Um, I'm surprised because I thought um, it was gonna be a lot more pink. I mean, on the monitor, it looks like pink. And so I was looking for what I was gonna wear on my lips. And so I did order his uh, gloss, Patrick Ta, on 2CC because that's in one of the little videos he has there, that's what he shows pairing with the blush. So I thought, okay, and that's what I'm wearing right now. Now, uh, I did apply a lip liner, and I think I applied the Natasha Denona L1. Hmm. Or maybe I applied the Pat McGrath Labs. Yeah, I think I applied the Patrick, I mean the Pat McGrath Labs, because I have it towards this side, that tells me. All right, so, so I changed the color a little bit because I tried it yesterday. Let me swatch it here. Um, and it was a lot more clear sort of thing. You see that? But it does give you that very glossy plumpiness. You see that? Uh, and a little bit of the pinkish. Uh, so it's a little darker because of the lip liner. Uh, however, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, so I got one gloss and two blushes. Now let's just put the cream blush before I continue pulling everything out. Just, um, uh, so we can finish my face look. And I'll list down below everything that I'm wearing. I'm back to my normal foundations, comfortable foundations, somewhere in the Claire Depot. Um, one of my favorites, and this is in 010. Um, so this is more or less what I will wear on a daily basis on foundation. Um, so I, pull out I do have a beauty blender and it was one of those mornings I couldn't find it anywhere uh, but I don't know if you guys have had these sample foams um, I know I, I got two and I just opened one of them so I can try the cream blush I was gonna use the brush maybe I'll use the brush on one side and the sponge on the other one see if it makes a difference uh, but this is a nice way to try your beauty blender which now I'm curious because I don't know what I did with mine and anywho Let's apply the, uh, the cream blush, which, which comes in a little cover thing. It's kind of like Natasha Denona. Now, I have to say, the, the, um, the thing is very beautiful. It will probably get very printed dirty. I like the rose gold that is in the packaging. But to open it is a little uncomfortable because I'm not very strong with my fingers, so you do have to cut. Of course, it opens easy, but look, I don't even wanna close it and open it. So yeah, the opening is just a little tiny, not hard, but mm. anyway, maybe I'm becoming too, uh, here it is. I'm gonna use too peaky. So I'm gonna use this sponge and this is how um, it's suggested to use first the powder and then the cream, and it's supposed to really rump it up. Now I did wet this sponge, but now it's very, very um, humid, very almost dry, it really dry very quickly because I did it right before we started here. So do you see a difference between just the powder and then the powder and the sponge? Yeah, wow. It looks very beautiful, very, very beautiful, I must say. Because, I mean, the difference is, 
he finalized the look, he kind of saturated a little more, he kind of rubbed, you know, brought it up. You see that? Wow. This is the first time I ever tried it. That's why I wanted to do it here with you all. I mean, I'll do it the other side, you'll see. So this, and I did apply it well. I did use this Sonia G brush to apply the, the powder and I bluff it and it's still kind of, it's good. But now like, I love the color, but now like, oh, but look with the cream, see? Look at the difference. Oh yeah. It sort of blurs your skin, your, look at that, right? Wow. And so the way I see it on the little videos, they really rump it up up here, kind of where the highlighter goes. And I like that style. I mean, how do you guys feel about that whole style that they're doing where they're bringing the blush very close to the eye? And so it kind of gives this, I call it like a butterfly effect, you know, like if, and then here's the, the wings of the butterfly, you know, when you really bring it out like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I love that look. And so now I'm bringing it up a little bit. I hadn't put any on my, on my eyes, but I'm liking this idea quite a bit. You know, so you really bring in the pink in this area, right? Look at that. Yeah, I like it. I just don't like applying things with the sponge. That's the truth. So I'm going to shift to using my brush and see what happens. So I'm going to take this brush. This is the um, Smatchbox. Um, I use this for cream blushes, either this or the Sonia G Kambuki. But um, let's see if it makes a difference. Well, I must say, I do like the application better with the sponge. I mean, it's minute. I'm sure you're like, why? Doesn't really matter. But I don't know. I feel like it does. Look at this. All right, so now we know. Now, I do have a beauty blender, the big one, which probably is going to be much, much easier. I just can't seem to find it anywhere. Maybe it's a time to buy a second one. <laughs> Sephora is still doing a sale. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm liking these blushes so much that I might get another color. There's the new color that came out. I wanted that one, um, but they've been sold out. I bet you they're gonna bring it back to the site the minute the sale is over. <laughs> Cause they do that kind of thing. They do that kind of thing, we're gonna tell you. All right, so move it along. So I'm not gonna try with you the, the palette. I'm gonna do a Patrick Ta and we'll use the other blush in their video, designated video. But at least you know that that's what I have on my lips and that's what I have on my blush. And I really like it. And for those of you that love the pinky look, Mm -hmm. It's not too much. It's really not too much. It's a very summer, nice, upbringing sort of look. Um, all right, so moving along, what else do I have in my little basket here? Of course I got, because it's my birthday, they offer like three choices. They actually, just after I ordered this, they added a fourth choice. Oh, it was Ilia products. I would have preferred that, but I already had made the order. So I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I like Tatcha. I like Tatcha uh, Dewy Skin Cream and a Cleanser. Oh my God, everybody's giving a cleanser. Everybody's giving a cleanser. I have so many cleansers. <laughs> but the cream, I would really appreciate. And then what is this? The Liquid Silk Canvas. It seems like a little pocket of, of, um, of uh, I don't know if it's a mask, a primer. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Good, I've been wanting to try the part, the primer. So probably a one time, but that's okay. So the primer, the cream, and the little cleanser. So thank you very much, Sephora. Happy birthday to me. All right, so moving along, what else do I got here? Oh, so I got this Givenchy uh, Le Rouge Sheer Velvet Lipstick. And I got it on Nude boys 16 
and I tried it yesterday and I will try it on another video for you guys. I love the velvet packaging. I love the pack the feel of it, the size, the color. Love, love, love everything about it. Now, this particular color, um, I actually, it's like a balm. Uh, I like the rosiness to it. It's very, very light. The consistency reminds me of the ones from Dior, but without having to repeat, 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 repeat. With Dior, you have to really go at it to have some color payout, which has been my least favorite. And I got the number 200 thinking it was going to have a little more color payout. And it is very light on me. So I wish I would have ordered a little other color that had a little more to it. So I don't really use it that much. Do I have it here? Yeah. So this is a 200. Look what I'm talking about. Let's swatch it right next to it. I don't want to be when it's so close. So this is the Dior. See, this is a little rose. You're a little more pinky. But that's one, and then you really have to like build it up, and then you get the color. But this color barely shows on me. It doesn't give me anything. I think the rosiness, pinkiness of this does. So I really like that. Um, so I really have liked this. The only thing I noticed, and I only tried it yesterday, I will try it again, uh, that it didn't last that long. I mean, it immediately, you know, if you do this or do this, it start of kind of going, 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 gone. It's gone. So I will try this in another video so you see, because this is just a haul of Sephora. And, um, but the color love, the packaging love, and for what I can see there, I guess it's a refill. So you can stay with the, with the beautiful, uh, thing and then let's see I don't want to take it out right now but I think you can just pull it out um, I'll do it when I'm showing it in another video because if we're gonna do the Patrick tag then I'll show you some of this stuff um, what else did I got so obviously I got the oh my god everybody's raving about these um, Vanessa Merrick Beauty Dewy Cheek and Lip Palettes. So I did got both. Uh, one is supposed to be very uh, bronzer sort of colors and the other one is very bold and bright coloring. I hadn't opened them before you, so I'm not gonna take the time, but let me see which one I'm opening here. So everybody's been really, really loving and you guys have told me you love this brand and I only have one eyeshadow that I tried once. It was not my greatest color, so I put it away. I have to say, I'm not very big on cream eyeshadows, uh, but I've been growing and growing more in my cheek cream shadows. I have so many. <laughs> but um, but this call on me, I mean, I'm liking this summer kind of bold colors. So I was interested on this, and then the other one is more nude browns. Uh, well, it seems like it has some pinkies in there. So I will be doing a video on this once uh, and we'll play and see what I think. Do you guys have this ones? Please let me know. All right, so what else I got here? I did a video on Merit. It's a new brand, Merit. And I love all their products. And so I had two blushes already. I think it was a Beverly Hills and Cheeky. Love them. One is more peachy, one is more pinkish. And I really would like to order all the colors, but you know, little by little. So I ordered Mood. Somehow, somehow I got in this ramp. It's a little dark. Hmm. But when I made this order, I placed this one and then I placed uh, the Patrick Ta, this one that is kind of brownish. And then I got the, um, the Danessa Merrick also in the brownish. Let me pull it out so I show you. And I was like, what's the matter with you, Claudia, without going? Those are not usually blushes or blush colors 
that I go for. I mean, I go for the bronzers, right? But I don't go with this brownish. Look at that. So look at the color. I mean, this is a little more red than I thought, but just on the thing, look, you see that? And then this, and then this. And I was aware that it was all on the same family of coloring and not what, I guess, I guess that's why I was attracted because I have nothing like it or very little of these colors. It's not the colors I usually go for. Um, but yeah, I just went for it. So I will be doing a video on the difference of all of these tones and what we can do with them. I'm excited about it actually. So I got that new blush. I got a new lipstick from Merit, uh, again, because I like it so much. I like, I got Cabo. I also have Fashion and Million, Millennium. And I really, really, this is Cabo. I really, really, really go for, um, for their lipsticks, I do reach out. They're delicious and they're long lasting and they're creamy and they're a little more than a balm. And I actually wanted to buy the Leah Adventure, which is brownish. See, I was in all this brownish thing. And I thought brownish lipsticks, I don't reach for them that much. Uh, so I ended up with this orange, but I have to say I'm tempted to just order because with all these blushes, I think it's just gonna go perfect. But this lipsticks, any color you choose, I really, really recommend and that's why I got it. And the, and the blushes too, they're so comfy. You forget they're there, um, easy to apply. I can't say enough how much I enjoy this company. Brand new, I think they launched last year. And having said that, I did order, they've been sold out and they've been sold out with a lot of their foundations. So they've been sold out of this brush. I don't know, I don't think they have many brushes. I think this might be the only one that it is um, for their foundation and for their blushes. It's sort of a face brush. And I was very curious because, okay, here it is. I'm watching it for the very first time. This is $30 Merit. So it is an awesome price. And this is Westman Atelier. They compare this brand married with Westman Atelier quite a bit. Um, I don't think they're exactly the same uh, when it comes to their lipstick and their blush, but uh, um, I haven't tried their foundation, which they also say is a little similar to Westman Atelier. But, uh, you know, with the cleaningness and the way it applies and things like that, I'll do a comparison, one side of one brand and the other one. It's just I didn't have the foundation stick, so I was like, ah. But the reason I bring it up is this is $30, and this one is like 115 from Westman Atelier. So I wanted to see, and that's why I order it. So it's obviously smaller. All right, all right. This one, Westman Atelier really recommends it for um, foundation, but also for her, for her very, you know, well-known, is it this one? No, the, you know, it's kind of a highlighter, powder highlighter. And so that's why I ordered this. I wanted, because I was not finding how to use those. And so I bought the actual brush to see what helped me. And it does help. It's not like I love the product. However, oh, that's another thing I'm waiting for Sephora on the other shipment. I order, um, oh no, not from Sephora, from Westman Atelier. I did buy the pink quiche of that product. Let me see if I get in here. Sorry, I'm off the camera. Where are my, oh, here's one. This one's the Pear the Rose. Well, it came out with a new one the something and it's not so dark it's a little more sweet pinkish so i'm very curious about it so this ones were perfect to go there and now i'm going to try with the 30 30 dollar one and i'll do that when i showcase this one uh, so that's why i ordered this brush and um, 
and it's supposed to be very good with with the blushes right i mean this is merit and you're supposed to apply it directly and then you can sort of go with this after it feels soft very soft it's actually softer than this but obviously it's smaller so we'll we'll play with it and and i'll let you know i mean 30 dollars versus 115 oh yeah i want that all right even though i already have the 115 so kind of doesn't add up right the math is not right <laughs> all right so what else i got of course i got a lot of samples which we love sephora for that i got the super goop on scene on screen for 100 points now this one i have samples already i could have used them before ordering it but everybody's raving about this so and then i got the bite absolute full volume mascara so i'm very happy to try this because i'm looking for a clean mascara so if you have one that you recommend that is very fully, but the most important, doesn't flake out, that I don't want to have shade down here or things falling and all that jazz. That's important to me, even more than long lasting. I don't like when I have to clean my under my eyes. I don't like that look at all. So if it starts doing that, don't tell me about it. But if you know about one that doesn't do that and it's clean, do say, please. All right. So moving along, we're almost done. Uh, so I wanted to tell you about this giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. So the giveaway, and of course I need to now come up with the final details. But the way I see it, and I have one more product. The way I see it happening is, is what I have on my eyes. I really put thought on what I wanted to give away. And I, I had different options. But this is one of my favorites. And, um, and I'm going to order from Sephora now. Sorry, it's on sale, but I'm going to take advantage of that. And so I was even between, between the new, what did I do with it? The new um, Pillow Talk Dreams or this one. But this has been a long time favorite of mine. And it's very subtle and it's very nice. And if you notice, I put the pink of Patrick Toss. So it's really convertible. Whatever you put in your blush, you add and it kind of goes together. So what I'm gonna be giving away is the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerated Eyes. Now, it, I travel with this. It's a very beloved, it's a very versatile. Uh, you can do a lot with this. Um, so this is gonna be for my first giveaway. And I might include some other samples and, and things. But, um, and so what I wanna do with this, and I don't know, I think it's gonna have to be with for US residents only. Oh, I don't like that, but I think the cheaping uh, situation might get very expensive or complicated. I will go and research that and find out, but I think that's my understanding. Uh, we'll see, we'll see when, when I do the random app to choose the winner. Uh, depending on where it is, I'll find out how much it is and if I can then I'll announce it. And if not, I'll keep going for a U.S. resident. So I'm, I'm in that. I wish I could just send it all over, but um, I, I don't know a lot of information on it. So in any case, I want to do this because three things. It's almost my 50th birthday, Monday, the 11th. Um, and I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So that's a huge thing in Facebook. Huge. So close and yet so far. <laughs> but because I am like 20 away from reaching the 1,000, I actually wanted to do the, the giveaway when I reach, uh, you know, you know I love numbers. 11, 11. It's a magic 11, 11. I thought of 11, 50. Um, but, and then I thought of 22, 22, but that's so far away. Maybe I'll do another giveaway for that number. But I thought the 1111. And so um, the moment I reach 1111 subscribers, then um, this baby will be male. And, uh, and so what do I ask that you comment below and that you put me where I can reach you? Uh, so an email or a, at an Instagram. 
Uh, I would appreciate if you also go and subscribe on my Instagram. I know probably some of you don't even have Instagram. So if you don't, don't worry about it. But if you do, please subscribe to my channel over there. Make a comment if you can. And But the most important will be obviously here. And as soon as I get to that magical 1111, <laughs> we'll do the draw and I'll mail that out. And uh, um, uh, what I was gonna say, oh, and please refer uh, the giveaway, refer my channel and help me reach that 1111 as soon as possible. And hopefully, pray with me, that by Monday I reach the 1000. That will be what, like a greatest, universe celebration well universe and you <laughs> right because i couldn't do this without you so i think that's we're gonna wrap it up the last thing i have here in my thing and of course i haven't received all my sephora uh purchases so probably a next little haul i have here the one saint laurent sample and the romance from Ralph Lauren uh perfume this one is my mom's favorite, all-time favorite for many, many years. I know. So I know what this smells like, but I still will do a video on it. And last to close, I did order the Hermes sample set. And, uh, and I'll be smelling it, probably doing a video on this. Very nice little, uh, it comes with this box. And, uh, some of you are not very excited about fragrances. I I kind of opened them already. I'll tell you my thoughts. Eh, I was not like, wow, super impressed, you know. But Hermes, I mean, I hear all this fuss about it. Like, ah, oh, delicious, this, that. So I'll tell you my thoughts on each of them. Um, and uh, I do love it when I go into a department store and it smells like that. <laughs> but we're talking about fragrance for the body, right? So... Um, so ambience fragrance, I do like it, purse, car, you know, but we'll see, we'll see, I'll, I'll smell it the right way, because I did it very quickly, and then it kind of start all merging together. Anyhow, that's all I have for you guys. Also, I added a new patronage page, uh, please check it down below, uh, and, uh, if you want to support my channel, and that's it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell. And uh, did you order on any of these things? Are you interested? And what did you get? Uh, and did I miss something? Because we still have a couple of days. All right, from the Sephora cell I'm talking. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.